Hello! In this episode, we're going to take a look at Create React App, a new project by the people at Facebook. It used to be such a pain to get going with a new React project. You had to do things like compile JavaScript with Babel, configure Webpack with auto-reloading and to pull in your CSS, and the list goes on. But not anymore. Now you can use Create React App to generate a new app for you containing this environment out of the box. Let's take a look. In order to use Create React App, you've got to install it with the global flag using npm. Now in order to go and generate a new app, we run Create React App and the app's name. In this case, TT-2. Great, so it's finished installing and it's giving us instructions on what to do next. So let's follow these instructions and cd into the folder and run npm start. Well, that's pretty cool. It picked up that I've already got something running on port 3000 and it's giving me the option to launch it on a different port. And this is another thing that's pretty cool. It launches a browser instance pointed to the app's URL. I just love how much friction this process removes. Let's have a look in the editor to see what was generated. When I expand the source folder, you can see that we've got our app.js component right here. We've also got an app.css, which is the styling for the app component, and an index.css, which seems like more global CSS styling. We've got an index.js file. This is where React gets bootstrapped. And we've also got a SVG file for the cool looking React logo. But let's go back to the app.js file and go and make some changes here. So we add some text in here. And when we go to the browser, great, you can see I didn't even need to refresh and I've got my text displaying here. So the setup has all the Babel configuration included. It's got a pretty cool Webpack setup with auto reloading out of the box. I think you'll agree that the community's excitement about this new project has been well deserved. But let's have a further look at the setup. Let's go and make some changes to our CSS. I'm just going to change this background color to a bit of a lighter color. And as you can see, with just saving this file, it reloads the style rule. So that's pretty cool. You get really quick feedback when you want to play around with your code. And all the React state is maintained. This setup makes a lot of decisions for you and it's not flexible in this way. There isn't a lot of configuration or code that you can go and mess around with to go and change the setup. That's where the eject command enters the picture. We can run this command to go and give us access to all the files. Obviously, this is a one way road. Once you've run this command, you can't go back. So let's go and run it and see what it does. It's just npm run eject. It gives us a warning that it's one way, it's permanent, and we're fine with that. As you can see, this adds some dependencies to our package JSON file and runs npm install again. So instead of getting all the dependencies through the Create React app scripts, we're getting it inside of our own package.json and installed directly into our root node modules. So now we've got way more files here in our app directory. It's because this eject functionality spit out the files which used to be contained in a node module and it made it a root part of the project so that you can go and customize it. And our package JSON file has got a lot of dependencies in it now. This is starting to look like a React setup that we're used to, where we go and cobble together everything. It just shows how much heavy lifting happens in this Create React app setup and how much we used to deal with in order to go and do our first React component. So that's Create React app in a nutshell. It takes a few minutes to get a React app 
running in the browser with a pretty nifty environment. You really won't need to mess around with Webpack, Babel or ESLint the next time that you want to kickstart a new React project. And if it turns out that you need to do some customization to the environment, it's no problem. You can just run eject and customize away to your heart's content. That's it for this episode. See you next time.